something, girl. Boxing done got so goddamn wet now. It's all about the money. I guess Jake Paul gonna gig up Muhammad Ali and fight him too. Cause he out there beating up on a 70 year old goddamn Mike Tyson, man. I guess I need to set me up a boxing match between me and Jay Z for $20 million. I lose for $20 million too. I'm going straight to the bank after I got there lose the fight. Licking my wound, counting that goddamn bad like Mike Tyson did. Now, everybody seen Mike Tyson lose to Jake Paul last night. But a 27-year-old Mike Tyson versus a 27-year-old Jake Paul wouldn't even be a fight lasting longer than eight seconds, man. This was just a money grab for Mike Tyson after being robbed all them goddamn years by Don King. And this was a credibility match for the culture vulture, Jake Paul and his brother, Logan Paul. It was a WWE boxing match that made them casinos millions of dollars, Netflix millions of dollars, everybody that went to the bars to watch the fight, millions of dollars, man, everybody came up. Cause everybody went and betted on Mike Tyson when they seen him. Jake Paul let the goddamn way in, man. It was a very strategic WWF, WWE move, all orchestrated and planned by a YouTuber, prankster, boxer named Jake Paul. Now, see, Netflix bought the fight because nobody will pay to see a 50 year old Mike Tyson and a Jake Paul fight on pay per view for $75 to $100. Ain't nobody paying. Them. And Mike Tyson probably made an agreement with Jake Paul to lose because it wouldn't go against his record, being that it was an exhibition match that was sanctioned. But this was all a money play. Mike Tyson got $20 million. Jake Paul got $40 million. Netflix probably gonna make $100 million a month in new monthly subscriptions because you had to subscribe to Netflix in order to watch the fight. Then they fought at Cowboy Stadium, so Jerry Jones got his money. But see, I blame Floyd Mayweather because he started all this WWE BS in the sport of boxing. When he stopped competing and he started focusing on eating, doing everything for the goddamn money, think about it. He set up his last big boxing matches with Conor McGregor and Manny Pacquiao. He paid them to lose, just like Jake Paul just paid Mike Tyson to lose. And just like Mike Tyson, they all accepted the payment. And all the pay-per-view fans and the fans in the stands that paid thousands of dollars to go catch a flight to go watch this fight, Guess what? They bid on the bait because that's what they wanted to see. And now Floyd is fighting John Gotti once a year, clearing $20 million a fight. So the sport of boxing has transitioned into WWE. Nothing competitive, nothing real. Everything is all planned and scripted, and it's all for the money. Y'all better pay attention. All sports, is everything is about betting now. Ain't no competitive. Y'all had Mike Tyson, Michael Jordan. It was the real year. Nowadays, over, under. This team gonna win. The team you think gonna lose, got them win. I don't know what, man, because it's all about money. It's not about enjoyment. This is all about checking your phone to see if your dog or your goddamn horse made it to the finish line first. That's all it is. It's all a gamble, man. So teach your little nephews and your sons, man, to be a sports owner or a goddamn casino owner because that's who really coming up, man. It ain't the goddamn horse no more. It ain't the goddamn Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali no more. Ain't no more Michael Jordan. It's all about the money. They doing anything for money. Mike Tyson was in the goddamn dressing room with a stripper outfit on. Y'all seen that shit, man? This shit done got scary, man. Y'all comment below and let me know how y'all feel about that fight, man. Y'all like this video. Y'all make sure y'all share this video with your friends and your family, man. Make sure you understand that the scammers in the comments acting like they need no brown. That's not need no brown. It's one need no brown. I don't see no clown. You know how I get down whenever I come around, baby. We the business.